Good evening, friends and family. Today, I am going to share with you something near and dear to my heart, the New York Yankees. The New York Yankees are a Major League Baseball team with a long history of success and wealth. Today, I'm going to share with you uh, some brief history and ownership, where all the success stems from, and involvements outside of baseball. First, a little bit of history and ownership. Researching history, I found much more than anybody would ever care to know. The team was founded in 1902 by two politicians named Frank Farrell and William Devery. The sports encyclopedia read that the team was bought for $18,000 by the men, which translates to about $500,000 now. They were bought as an expansion team to the Baltimore Orioles to be the ninth team in the league. The team was bought in 1915 by Jacob Ruppert, a baseball enthusiast, for right under half a million. Mr. Ruppert started wheeling and dealing players, playing the trades, free agency, and he won a World Series in 1921 for the first time. Author Richard Wirth called the 1921 Yankees the greatest winning empire of all time. The Yankees history website said that from 1921 to 1941 was the golden age of the Yankees when players such as Joe DiMaggio, Lou Gehrig, and Babe Ruth were all on the team. And in 1973 is when the Steinbrenner era began. The Ultimate Yankees website showed that George Steinbrenner bought the team for $10 million on January 3rd, 1973 from the TV series CBS. Next, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about where all the success stems from. All the money in the world cannot buy championships. So how do the Yankees have so many? First, the players. Babe Ruth is said by baseball reference to be the best Yankee to ever play. He is third all-time in home runs, he is in the Hall of Fame, and he is the only player in Major League history to record at least one inning at every single position. Next, Derek Jeter. I think everyone in here knows who Derek Jeter is. He played 20 seasons all for the Yankees as a shortstop. He was, he was an all-star 14 of those years. Baseball Reference said he's the best short Yankee shortstop ever. He retired in 2014 and will be eligible for the Hall of Fame in 2020. No player has ever been a unanimous vote to go into the Hall of Fame, but many believe that Derek Jeter will be the first. Finally, Mariano Rivera. Baseball Reference states that Mariano Rivera is not only the best Yankees closer of all time, but the best overall closer of all time. Much like Jeter, he played 19 years, was an all-star for 13 of them, and he retired in 2013 and will be eligible for the Hall of Fame in 2019. But all these good players still need coaching. Yogi Berra was a catcher for the Yankees and became a coach, coached the team in 1965 and 1985 and 86. He had, he had a lot of wins but never won a World Series for the team. Next, Joe Girardi. Joe Girardi, much like Yogi Berra, was a catcher for the Yankees and then became a coach in 2007. He is still the current coach of the Yankees and won one World Series for the team in 2009. Finally, Joe Torre. Joe Torre is said by baseball reference to be the best Yankees coach of all time and the most successful. He has four World Series wins for the team and they are in 1996 and a three-peat in 1998, 99, and 2000. Finally, I'm going to talk to you about some community involvement outside of baseball for the Yankees. The New York Yankees community website states that the Yankees are largely involved in the community and urge their players to be as well. The Yankees are large advocates for a healthy lifestyle for children with daily exercise and healthy eating habits. The Yankees also offer a sports management mentoring program for college students who are sports management majors and can go to courses at Yankee Stadium and see what their major is like, what their career could potentially be like, and even get a foot in the door with a major organization such as the New York Yankees. The team also offers youth clinics in the offseason 
where kids from the, from the New York area can come down to the stadium, learn a little bit about the game, improve their skills, and are coached by actual Yankee coaches and players. Finally, the Yankees also have a reading program, which is known as the Yankee Library Program, where students can turn in their report cards and are rewarded for good grades with tickets, clubhouse tours, and much more. Today, I gave you a lot of information about the New York Yankees. Some history and ownership, a little bit about where all the success stems from, and community involvement outside of baseball for the Yankees. As I said before, the Yankees are a Major League Baseball team with a long history of success and wealth. Who would have known that back in 1973, when George Steinbrenner bought the team for $10 million, he could have turned it into the most successful franchise of all time at $2.5 billion.